dual property of electron dual mean doubled here the electrons behave uh, both as particle or as well as wave character electrons behave particle character as well as wave character this is called a dual property of electron so particle suppose the electron behaves as particle nature of electrons mean so the particle character of electron explained by block body radiation photoelectric effect photoelectric effect mean when a beam of light is passed on the metal surface the electrons can be ejected the wave nature of electrons are explained by the phenomena like interference and the diffraction etc diffraction mean superposition of many number of waves gives bending of light that is called diffraction nature difference between particle and wave character here particle mean it can be localized in space wave mean it is delocalized in space particles do not interfere waves easily interfere because two or more waves can coexist in the same region of space when a number of particles are present in a given region of space their total value equal to sum that is it is neither less nor more but when a number of waves are present in a given region of space due to the interference the resultant wave can be larger or smaller than the individual waves the interference may be constructive or destructive so these are the differences between particle and wave character experiments to prove particle and wave property of electron here the electron behaves as particle character as well as wave character first of all we have to study verification of wave character by davison and germers experiments so here this experiment prove that electrons are having wave character so in the year 1927 davison and germer observed that a beam of electron obtained from a heated tungsten filament is accelerated by using high positive potential when this fine beam of accelerated electron is allowed to fall on a large single crystal of nickel the electrons are scattered from the crystal in different directions so the diffraction pattern so obtained is similar to the diffraction pattern obtained by brax experiment on diffraction of x ray from a target in the same way electron diffraction experiment by davison and germer experiment so here the diagram explain electrons are having wave character when a beam of electrons obtained from heated tungsten filament and it is accelerated by using high potential positive potential so the beam of a accelerated electron is fall onto a single crystal of nickel it can be scattered from the crystal in different direction so the diffraction pattern so obtained is similar to the diffraction pattern obtained by brax experiment of diffraction of x ray from a target in the same way so the x rays have wave character therefore the electron must also have wave character associated with them so here the wave length of electrons are determined by diffraction experiment were found to be values calculated from de broglie equation so from the above de discussion it is clear that an electron behaves as both particle as well as wave character that is it has dual nature davison and germer experiment verification of wave character so here the atomic structure electrons are having wave character so it should be proved by davison and germer experiment when a beam of electron is obtained from tungsten filament and it is accelerated by using high potential high positive potential when this fine beam of accelerated electron is allowed to fall on a nickel crystal then the electrons are scattered from the crystal in different directions so here the diffraction pattern so obtained is similar to the diffraction pattern obtained by brax experiment on diffraction of x ray from a target in the same way so the x rays are having wave character therefore the electron must also have wave character associated with them
So moreover, the wavelength of electrons are determined by diffraction experiment were found to be in agreement with the values calculated from de Broglie equations. So from the above discussion, the electrons are having wave characters. So when a beam of electron is obtained from tungsten filament, then the beam of electron is put on, uh, is accelerated on the nickel crystal then it can be scattered on different directions so, so the diffraction pattern so obtained is similar to diffraction pattern obtained by x ex experiment on diffraction of x rays in a target